Hello to my fellow autistics and my holistic allies. Okay, so I'm starting to feel slightly more awake. All right, so this video, um, I'm doing two videos today. Um, I'm not gonna do so many. I think I have one more plan for, um, I think I might just do that one at the end of the week or I might do it today, we'll see. But um, I usually don't do several videos in a day. It's just on my good days and those are rare. So please don't expect this. So here we go. Um, this video is going to be about why I really, really fucking despise um, functioning labels. I really freaking hate those. Okay. So many people would consider me... Um, I'm going to try to do air quotes to see if I remember how to do it. Uh, like this, I think. A high-functioning autistic. Okay. Uh, someone with mildly, or uh, high-functioning or mild autism, which is fucking stupid, and I'll get into why. So, yes, I don't have an intellectual disability. Yes, I am very, very, very verbal, which I'm grateful for. Yes, I um, don't have like every single thing of being on the spectrum. So people consider me like um, high functioning autistic or um, what would have um, uh, what would have been considered um, or they say like high functioning on the spectrum or what people would have considered um, Asperger's before 2013 in the DSM-5. But let me tell you why that's a misnomer. On top of being autistic, and by the way, really quick side note, just because I don't fit every single um, criterion of ASD according to the DSM or according to someone else or according to, um, I don't know, stereotypes, does not mean I'm not autistic. I am autistic. I don't fit everything, but that doesn't mean that, like, it's like saying just because one person is like milk chocolate colored and another one is dark, 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 doesn't mean they're both not colored. They're still colored. Okay, Whew, sorry, side note. So, all right, end of side note. All right, so the reason I don't like functioning labels, on top of, or, or aside from, there we go, that's a better word, aside from being autistic, I'm also completely blind, as I've mentioned in a couple of my videos now. I am, I have depression. I've got anxiety, undiagnosed, but still it's there. Um, possible OCD. I honestly feel tainted when I touch certain things. I cannot, um, I feel tainted. I feel, what is the word? I feel, ooh, I'm stemming, look. <laughs> I feel tainted. I feel like if I don't know something's clean and I touch it, I have to wash my hands several times, even if someone tells me it's clean. It's, it, I, I legitimately just can't. Um, okay. So, um, um, let me try this again. So, the reason, so, I've got blindness, depression, anxiety, OCD, um, I have sleep problems, attention things, I have, I have a lot of different issues, childhood trauma. So, no, I'm not high functioning. Just because someone is verbal or someone is able to do something on the internet or someone to, does not mean that they are um, high functioning or low functioning. That's ridiculous. Just like someone who is non speaking is probably better at, I don't know, math or drawing than I am. I mean, come on, I'm blind. Anyone's better at drawing than me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I poke fun at myself. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of a theme on this channel. <laughs> okay, so, um, like I was saying, I'm very, um, I mean, I'm grateful that I have the, I don't know, the advantages. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. The, the assets or whatever the hell. Um, someone said this, um, and I, I, I loved how they put this. I, this is not my words, or these are not my words. I am not going to take credit. This was um, an autistic writer, um, she's an advocate, Laura something, I just can't remember her last name, I'm so sorry, Laura, ugh, I'm not gonna remember. <sighs> so, she said this, high functioning means our 
needs are ignored. Low functioning means our assets are ignored. That's so true. That is very true. Um, me being high functioning, people tend to assume that um, I'm perfectly fine, I can pass for normal, and I did for 13 years. And then I hit 14, and I was like, okay, no, I'm not. Depression hit, and then by the time I was 17, 18, I kind of discovered, you know, autism. Well, I was 18, actually. I discovered autism, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm autistic. So, um, the point being, um, if I, if I hear a really loud sound and I cover my ears, people are like, wait, why are you doing this? I'm like, um, I'm autistic. And they're like, wait, someone actually said this. You don't look autistic. <sighs> okay, fine. Do you want me to look autistic? Fine. This is apparently what autism looks like. I don't know. To, to their twisted mind, I don't know if this is what it looks like. But I'm supposed to not know how to make facial expressions and, and flap all the fucking time. And yeah, for some people, that is their reality. And for me, even, see, like, when I get excited, I do flap. Um, or like if I even, even if I just want to, I, it's, they're, they're my hands, it's my body, I do whatever. But this is my point. High functioning and low functioning are arbitrary as fuck. Seriously. They are the most arbitrary labels in the universe. It is like saying lesbians and bisexuals are less valid because one just likes one gender and the other one likes two genders. Dude, we're all LGBT. By the way, I can speak for that because I'm a lesbian. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, point being, ooh, I should do like an autism and dating video. Um, so the point being, my my main, what's what's what all of this rambling has culminated into is, I might be quote unquote intelligent, I might be quote unquote verbal or or whatever the hell you want to call it, but. I am by no means high functioning. I'm afraid that I'm going to need help for the rest of my life. I'll never be able to drive. I am always going to have painful thoughts or I'm always going to have... So no, I'm not high functioning. So don't assume that because any of the people who don't have all the disorders that I do are still not considered high functioning. That's not fair. Because they have needs that other people don't. So sure, we might be able to, I don't know, quote unquote function function or passes neurotypical but we're not dude that's the point high functioning just means someone said this I, I wish I remember who said it oh it's bothering me because I don't remember who said this high functioning just means we're able to pass for normal and that's true we're more able to do it and even then I'm not really able to do it so yeah don't ever call someone high functioning if you want to use a better term you can use high support needs and low support needs um, that's a better term, but even that, honestly, like, I would be considered, let's say that again, because of my core morbid disabilities, I am considered, um, um, high disability, or high, um, support needs in a way. Ugh. See, this is what I mean. Trying to categorize that is a fucking mess. It's dumb. We're all autistic, just like everyone else is colored and everyone else is LGBT in the examples I mentioned. We, we're not separate. We're all on one spectrum. And it's the reason it is a spectrum is because it's dumb to categorize. Like, basically, we're saying that the people on one end of the spectrum need more help than the other. No, we all need some sort of help. Even neurotypicals probably need help. So no, functional labels are dumb. Stop using them in any sense. We are all autistic. We are all human. Please, for the love of everything, Stop using functioning labels. This is to all the holistics out there. This is to all the, the well-meaning people. And I'm not trying to be pissed because I understand you do mean well. But I just don't like functioning labels. Okay. <clears throat> With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this informed you. Again, please, I'm not trying to be necessarily pissed at anyone. That's not my point. My point is to educate. I just got really passionate because this is something that affects me personally. Um, because I haven't really, I haven't gotten it so much yet just because I haven't told many people. But the people I have told, um, a lot of them have been like, okay, yeah, you, you don't look autistic. I'm like, okay, what does autism look like? <laughs> like, what does it look like to you? Jeez. Ugh. Okay. 
So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I have a few more videos planned, um, but if you have requests, please drop them and I'll get to them after I do my videos. I will definitely get to the requests. All right. Bye. Resident Blotistic Person signing off.